Hey guys, Tony from Hack the Movies here, and I'm still thinking about Archive 81. And the more I think about it, the more questions I have. So here's a video on the mysteries that I think need to be solved in season two. Before we start, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and let's get to it. A comet called Corrin, named for the ferryman of Hades. The comet Corrin. I'm a little confused by the comic Karin. The educational video in the beginning of episode seven, The Ferryman, says it's a comet that passes by Earth every 70 years and that millions of years ago, part of it broke off and crashed onto Earth. It leaves behind a gem called Karinite, which I think the Kalego statue is made out of. The statue makes mold whenever Kalego is around and wants to show evidence he exists. So what is this comet? Why does it contain materials that grant access to another world? How did it land on Earth millions of years ago and not have had a bigger effect on the world? Also, where did it come from? Another solar system or another reality? It's hard to say, but hopefully season two reveals this. This doesn't belong to you. It doesn't belong to you either, Baldung. The Baldung Witches. I want to know more about these witches. How exactly did they find out about Kalego? I'm assuming they found the Karanite and investigated it enough to make contact with him. I'm interested to learn how they first summoned Kalego. Apparently things went wrong and they had to banish Kalego into this alternate reality. Okay, so did they make the statue and trap Kalego inside of it? How did they do that? I'm guessing some other magic spell, but how did they even learn a magic spell that could be used on an interdimensional demon from a comet that landed millions of years ago? Next season, I'd like to get more background information on them because I don't think we learned enough about what their deal was. Lucas, where are you going? I'm not sheep enough to think I can stop you going through with it, but I can walk away. What happened to Lucas Vaz? On the night Iris does the ritual to summon Kalego, she notices her brother Lucas leaving the party. He has second thoughts and doesn't agree with all the death that will occur. I'm interested to see what happened after he left and where he went in life. Is he responsible for the 90s version of the cult? Did he continue looking for Kalego different ways? Did he team up with the bald dung witches? These are questions that I think need to be answered next season. Stay out. What was up with Mrs. Wall's weird cheek to cheek greeting? I, I know she's a creepy cult lady and cults are weird and they have weird greetings, I guess, but that was just confusing because I don't think any of the other cult members do it. Also, at one point, it seems like she can talk through the tape, and I guess maybe that was Kalego possessing her. I guess I just want to know more about Mrs. Wall, to be honest. Is she more than just a regular cult member? Does she have more going on? And again, what was up with that weird greeting? And finally, what is Kalego's deal? Okay, for real, is he just a scary monster that wants to take over the world? Why does he want to do this? Why does he bring people into his world and keep them young and promise to give them something that they want? Apparently, there's a complicated ritual to bring him into our world, but if you do it wrong, you'll time travel and a fire will break out. And then if you do it right, you'll also time travel, but without a fire, I guess. But it also looks like if you just play enough videos of him, he could just pop out of a screen. It's a little inconsistent, and I would like to know more about how this weird creature works. So those are the questions I still have about Archive 81. Hopefully they get solved next season or the season after that if it continues. If you're a regular viewer, please let me know what you think of this video and what other shows I should be breaking down or new movies. I'm open to either. If you're a new viewer, please like, share, and subscribe, and check out our podcast. We do uh, episodes on older movies and episodes on newer movies on Mondays and Thursdays. I think you would really, really enjoy that. And you can also follow us on uh, Patreon and all the usual social media platforms. And yes, I really enjoyed Archive 81, and I'm excited to jump into another show and break more stuff down. Thank you. Goodbye.